haya jogu wa joroge na nyawira HSC uria wire ka kwa muro eta muikari rigete wa bodi ya udhadhauri wa dhene maegu eto KFC bigo kufiruri ni reu ama keti ya ado the yo the hando ya roma na ito kasi ya yo dhu dha wa kegwe kage kwa atuire etere iluo eke kumari ria abiri ya kumenyeka na itana bako kutugu maneri ya deto muko ikuri dure kenya bengwe ria te maundu ni masa jiri ere u vindu vili chenja nga todo kienda kukura ea taimu ya safari kom ea telika na tere komure turaho dhira lipa na mpesa hau hape bill uka moda moda business naba ya 136136 account yuke kira naba ya kuyadhimu na wethi yu ama untiri duwe kira muiga na wakiri ditikiri ya ukweda we kira pini ya kure kurugusu ku uka amu kira ea taimu hau hau dhimu ini ya ku na utugata oyodora are hiyo na kwa jano uwele kire diti na furiza ugekoro dure na kashi mpesa ini ya ku na ugeyana kathe na ogothe ukegura ea taimure tuma mesi jiri ya mpesa mego uso keri ya watu mabia kuri na baya 456 wamu kire uteithio hapo hapo reu jogu wajora gebitori ni are kiti ya kumenyitha ni ya muige na mwari wake uri ya mukuru ugu ito mwari ni nyawe ira wajogu uri ya ni muire tu mwari utake we na tuido tu wake amu age kola kwa adho meire kodhi ya interior designing uhorandori hau gatoro kande toni ya tiriri eniu kumenya akola kwa e CEO waka buni ya kewe mwene itako intimate gifts Kenya kuri ya edegi ya gogasi ya kutuga na magogo naini nyawira aki hugo mahuri ala ugiri ya ate kwa oma siyari to mari ata totu wenewe mukuru akaro mirero ni mwari wanyi na we na miyakata iko mine tada toguo na kaheka ni ni kami ya ka etano na we agi siyari ilo kuri ya naikuru no magegi soka magedhamira na ilo fi e wa miyaka etato dhuda wa idhe kuwe na wira wa ume mereki ya goko gesuka reke diga goko iga na goko hemehe mehe nyinge reke gudha kire dhere ma iyo yo the way yo nere no ne kenya be guri kani yeti kukura ea taimure toare kani ya nawe ati oku hudhira ino pay bill ya 136136 umode mode business naba iyo usoke account iwe kire naba ya kuyadhimu na weti yo ama untire e kira muigana wa kire diti kire ya ukweda we kira pini ya kure du ukamu kira ea taimu ea safari komu ea tel kana tel kom na utugatha oyone wa ato hodora ale hiyo na kwa jana ugele kire diti na furiza ugekolo doi na kashi mpesa ine ya ku na ugege kathi na ogo the mundu waku wali ukigura ea taimu ino ole tuma mesejiri ya mpesa megu uso keri ya watu mabia kure namba 456 wamu kire utaithio hapo hapo my name is Maureen Nyawera Njogu I am an interior designer I am also the founder and CEO of Intimate Gifts Kenya which is a one stop shop for all your gifting needs. I was born in Nakuru. I actually lived in Nakuru for the first three years of my life. When I was three years old, we moved to Nairobi. My dad got a job in media. I'm the first born in a family of three children. I have a younger sister who's 16 years. Her name is Faith. Um, I have a small brother who's five years old. So I like to say he's my small first born because I, I basically take care of him. So for me, I vividly remember my first three years, I was actually brought up in Nakuru. And I'll never forget that I didn't know Kiswahili, I didn't know English, I used to talk in Kikuyu throughout. So my first three years were fun. I was like my grandmother's last born. We were very close to date we are. So my siblings were born when we moved to Nairobi. My sister was born when I was in class three. And as you can guess, my brother was born when I was in university first year. I was actually 20 years or 21 years. For me growing up, I grew up in a typical African home. Um, my dad was in media, my mom was in business. So I'd watch them do the things they do on a daily and I would admire them. Based on my dad's background, that's why I actually started a YouTube channel when I was in university because I wanted to follow in his footsteps until, you know, school happened. And for my mom, watching her since I was a kid to now. As you can see, I did follow in her footsteps eventually because I started doing business that I'm still doing to date. Um, I was a very disciplined child. That, that I can say for a fact because my parents were never called to come to school. I was never chased away from school. I could also say I was their trouble child because when they were starting life, they started with me. I watched my mom work from the ground until where she is now. I've watched my dad. I've watched my mom hook, I've watched my dad hook, so it's 
I think using their lives, I've used their lives to actually get the steps I need and they gave me a head start which I'm very grateful for because right now my mom uses her life to teach me which steps I should take, which ones I shouldn't take and I'm very grateful for that. For my siblings, I have a sister, I have a brother. As you can see, my small brother is just five years old, actually four years old. So I'm like a young mom. Like everywhere I go, I actually say that's my son because I take care of him and we have a good, good relationship with him. For primary, I went to Aga Khan Primary School until class four. When I reached class four, my parents decided now it's time to go to boarding school. So when I was in class five, I was moved to a boarding school in Nyahururu, a very cold town, by the way. So I studied there until class eight. Boarding school was not bad for me. I actually kind of enjoyed it. When I was there at that time, I didn't enjoy it, obviously. But now when I think of the memories, one of the best memories of my life. So um, I studied there until class eight. When I got to class eight, I performed well and got admission into Moy High School Kabarak. That is where I started from form one to form four. Clearly, I was very disciplined because I didn't choose to change schools. I was able to get an A and was admitted into Nairobi University where I went to study interior design. That's why I said I was, I'm an interior designer by profession. I did interior design and while I was still in university, I also decided to get into media. I had a YouTube channel where I would interview people and it was doing well, but it just gets to a point. I think life happens, school happens, and I just had to choose between school and the YouTube and I had to choose school, obviously. Um, I graduated in 2020 and when I finished school, when I was still in university actually, I got an internship with the KDF, Kenya Defense Forces. They were building a, their first rehabilitation in Kenya and it was an experience I will always carry with me for the rest of my life because I got to meet prominent people who mentored me, taught me so much and I really loved it, I really gained a lot from it and I would say I got most of my interior design background from there. And I am, thank God I was able to graduate come fourth year in 2020. And it was good, I graduated, but now nobody prepares you for life after you graduate. You know, Mnaskianga too, like, eh, people tarmac, people look for jobs, but I did. You know, when you're studying, it's all about, eh, when we finish school, we'll get jobs, you'll become a big CEO, but when you get out here is when you realize there are no jobs in Kenya because I remember after I finished my fourth year, I did look for jobs. I sent CVs, I went for interviews, but most companies apparently they want experience and you've just finished school, so you do not have the experience. But I did have the experience for KDF, but of course they needed more. So um, after that, I found myself working with my mom and I'd say that was what actually made me to start my business because it was nice going, it, going with her to work. She's also a business lady. And I will see her work. I will see how she runs her business. And that really motivated me. And I realized, you know what? I also want to start something of my own. Being an interior designer, I'm very passionate about how a home feels because the way your home looks represents how you are inside. And that's why I feel I'm very, very passionate about creating good homes for people, making people feel at home and making people feel comfortable when they are in their home to feel like you love your space, you love where you go back home to. And I am also very passionate about my business. There's nothing as fulfilling as when a client tells you, oh, my girlfriend loved the gift, my clients love the gift. I live for that. I live for the feedback. So I'd say those are the two things I'm very passionate about right now. When it comes to my purpose in life, I feel like everybody purposes to become better you purpose to do better in life, you purpose to become the better version of yourself than you are right now, and I feel that's what I want in life. I don't, you know, you may say you want money, you, you can say you want to be successful, but there's more to it. It's about who you are as a person, it's about how you impact other people's lives, it's not about just you. So I feel like my purpose in life is actually to become a better version of myself each and every day, because if I'm a better version of myself, I'll be able to be good to my clients, I'll be able to be good at work, I'll be able to be good to my parents, to everybody around me. And overall, I feel that's my, that's actually my purpose. The advice that I'd give to a young lady out there who wants to start something, who wants to do something for themselves, 
step up, do what you have to do. I know it's not easy maybe sometimes having to tell someone older than you, do this, you're not supposed to do this. But if you want to make your client happy, if you want to achieve something, I feel like you need to step up and believe in yourself. Get it for the rest of the video. If you want to watch this video on YouTube, you can subscribe to the channel and share your video. And you can see that 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 za airtime na wagi ya gathe na ukiugula li. Tuma mesi jio ya mbesa kui 456, utaidiwa hau hau na dukarika nilo nugutru mirelathini wa TikTok na Facebook. Musa nene koniye, jetawa musa nene kiwiga tu.